Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today for the IAC students, you know your semester one results will be out already. You will get the complete uh, information in the community uh, in the community tab where I post all the messages for you. So stay tuned over there also. Keep a track whatever information I'm posting. So you will get your uh, report, you will get your marks and everything. If you have enrolled from your school, obviously you have done that. You will get it directly from your school. So no worries, you will not have to do anything. It will be your school that will be providing you the material. Now, um, it is same for both ICAC as well as IAC students. Now today's topic that we are going to deal is semester 2 of course. And in semester 2, we are going to finish off with Dover Beach as you have seen. Because Dover Beach we uh, did half and I found an immense response among you. You wanted me to complete the rest of it. You found it easy so we will finish that. So Dover Beach written by Matthew Arnold as we had started the first portion already. So uh, first follow that so that you have a clear idea of the first two stanzas then come over here so that you have no doubts. You will find the link uh, above that will take you to that uh, video so you can follow that from there. So coming to the next page for those who have already followed the first video. The sea of faith was once too at the full and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdle furled. Now, if you listen to this video very carefully, I promise there will be no doubts at all. Why you see? The sea of faith. Okay, sea of faith means the, the faith in human beings is related to the, is, is compared to the sea. Okay, this is a symbol. Sea is actually the symbol of faith in human beings. Faith in what? Faith in God. Okay, the situation is at those times during the Victorian period, before the Victorian period, people had a lot of trust in God. Okay, so people believed that uh, the creation, it completely depends on God. It was God who created us and he is the one who is responsible for everything. And so we prayed God, we were very much, uh, you know, devoted to God. Now what has happened? Now Darwin came, we, we will ob obviously see a, a PPT slide also on this. So before that, just an overall idea, Darwin was the one who stated that it was just, you know, the evolution of men. So when he said that when science, you know, came in contact to this religion and faith and belief in God, slowly faith drifted away. And how is the poet comparing? The poet is also, you know, once upon a time he also was a, uh, he also believed God a lot. All right. And now that he has also started doubting the uh, presence of God, the activity of God. Okay. So he questions. So he thinks that just like this picture, this picture of earth, as you see over here, isn't it? This picture of earth. This one, you see everywhere around, there are so many water bodies, isn't it? So when you see the earth from, from a distance, you see that there are so many water bodies. It seems like a bright girdle fur. It seems like a belt that wraps around earth. So there was a time when faith used to cover all men. Everybody was bound tight by faith. Okay, so there was trust, there was faith in God. So was once two at full. So once upon a time, there was uh, you know a lot of faith in God and, and therefore trust was complete like the high tide. But now what is happening? It was similar, it is compared to what? It is compared to the huge number of water bodies of earth, which we see from when we see from a distance, we see it like a belt wrapping around earth. The same was the state when faith in God was immense once upon a time. Now what has happened? Furled means secured. But now I only hear its melancholy long withdrawing roar. Now you see the background picture as you see, you know, when the water is receding, moving backwards. What do you see? All the pebbles and uh, lying here and there. So now we can only hear the withdrawing roar of what? Loss of faith. The withdrawing roar, this is pathetic fallacy. As you know, this is pathetic fallacy. This is a figure of speech. When you feel sad and it starts raining, it seems God is even weeping, heaven is weeping, sky is weeping. When you when you find that emotion within you replicated in nature also, that is pathetic fallacy. All right. So here also, this there is a sound, sad, melancholy, sad sound that is heard when he's sitting by the side of the beach, you know. So here's the receding tide, the sound of the waves receding, moving backwards. So that sound is very sad to him because he relates it to what? He relates it to the, the faith, the receding faith in the hearts of men, in the minds of men. 
Why? Now that science, with the advent of science and technology in the Victorian period, what had happened? People had lost faith in God. The realization that, no, God has done nothing. It is just because of adoption. You adapted to the situation. You adapted to the time. That is why all these has happened. So, so now people have started believing that God has played no role. They have started doubting that. Okay. So, retreating to the breath of the night wind, down the vast edges drear and naked shingles of the world. Shingles, as you see the background picture, all the pebbles, when the water is receding, what we see on the ground, there are all the pebbles, you know, lying over there. So, those are the naked shingles, the naked pebbles or the inflammation of the ground. You know, sometimes you have sore kind of a, a place will become, you know, there will be inflammation on the places. It's somewhat like that. So what are these? these? These are making me feel the pain from within because I cannot trust in anybody. When you, when you feel sad about something, you could have gone to God and prayed. But now the situation is this that I cannot even seek help from anybody because I doubt the presence of God. I doubt whether God would even help me. God even, uh, even you know, um, ha has any part to play, has any role to play in my creation. So I have nobody to ask for help. Alright, I hope this much is clear. We'll move to the next slide, which is as simple as that. Important points to note down over here is conservative Catholic. Once upon a time, our poet Matthew Arnold was a conservative Catholic. That means he had complete trust in God. But slowly he became agnostic, skeptic, doubter. Whichever word you think is easy, remember that to put it in your answer. Four mark question, you have to add these points. You have to say that uh, once upon a time, the situation was that he was... He, had a, he was a stout believer in God. He believed, had faith in God. But now with the advent of science and technology, he also has started doubting okay, the presence of God, the action of God. So he has become skeptic, doubter, agnostic. All right. So naturally, if you start, start doubting whether your parent loves you or not, same as the state. You, you feel the one who believes in God, he feels that God is like his parent. So if he cannot trust his parent, imagine the amount of, you know, the amount of sadness that will grow within him. Okay. Now the last stanza. Our love, let us be true to one another. So previously, I have already told you this is dramatic monologue. He was there with somebody else. That is his lover. So he says, at least... We too must be true to one another. There is only one cure to all these problems. That is love. Love can cure everything. You know, it will grow as perennial as the grass as it is written in Desiderata. So in the same way, here also he says, we need to be true to one another. Because other than this love, there is nothing else in this world. See, for the world, which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams. You see in front of me, such a beautiful land, moonlit land, shore, uh, the sea water, the coastline, the beautiful hills. But it seems very beautiful. It, is, it looks like a land of dreams, so beautiful it is. So various, so many things are uh, over here, water, hills, so many things are over here. It is so beautiful and so new. But this is just... Something which is, you know, which is not the reality. This is just the appearance of it. Reality is what? It has, it hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light. So there is neither any kind of happiness, nor any kind of love, nor light. That means there is no hope almost. As I told you, when you lose faith in God, in your parent, you feel very sad from inside. As if there is no hope. You cannot run to any place for help. Okay. So that is the situation that the poet is facing. There is no certitude. That means there is no freedom from doubt. I, I cannot, you know, there is nobody whom I cannot doubt. Generally, what do we think? That parents love us uh, like they have, uh, unconditionally they will love us, isn't it? We don't have to doubt whether they are true to us or not. We know that they love us. But if you have to start doubting that parent also it will be a difficult situation so everywhere there is doubt i can't even trust my own creator my god not peace nor help for pain so there is no generally we will go to the church and pray isn't it if we uh, if we are pained if we are suffering but now where should we go there is nobody where we can just look up to that person and we are here as on a darkling plane. Darkling plane means, plane means it is slowly growing darker and darker and darker. Why? Because of the loss of faith. So there is no escape from here. Swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. So now the situation is this. You also know that in the Victorian era, the problem was that uh, people, you know, they, they, there was a lot of disparity in the society also. 
okay people uh, did not trust each other because of the development of technology factories there was disparity in the society either people were very rich or very poor so the situation was such that people were only thinking about their own benefits own uh, you know needs so some were very rich some were very poor so it seems that everybody was selfishly uh, losing their humanity they did not love each other they did not sacrifice anything for one another there was no faith this was the situation of victorian society so it seemed we are all you know we are, our, our eyes are tied and we are fighting without knowing why we are fighting what is the result of all this all right so next we will come to darwin's theory as you see in this picture first we were apes then we slowly 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 became man so this shows darwin stated what did he state which we move to the next page and understand his scientific theory states that biological specimens including humans evolved over the course of generations through a process of natural selection so it is just a scientific development biological development of the body just like we have the appendix we don't need it so it has shortened isn't it it has become small okay so this is just a scientific evolution a biological evolution in our body which the body needs so there is no role played by god he stated that as soon as he said that people started doubting the presence of god previously what the people thought they thought god created us so victorians who believed in god and believed that he was responsible for our creation was led into an era of doubt this is the main concept of the full moon this is doubting god when you suddenly realize that no my parent figure is actually not even my parent figure he didn't even bother to create us or help us then who are you we will start questioning our own selves that is the situation of matthew arnold which we read in dover beach okay this is pathetic fallacy because throughout the poem you see nature and whatever the elements of nature there are that means whether they are waves the receding tide whatever it is he relates it with his own pain okay when he sees the naked shingles the, the pebbles over here on the ground he feels that these are the, this is the truth there is no faith no humanity nothing over there these are just like inflammations on the ground or on the skin all right so i hope this portion is very clear to you no doubts at all and if you have any other doubt you can obviously write to me in the comment section and i'll always try to help you out that's all for today hope you have liked the video bye bye have a nice day